demonstrate the operations of the shop oven. Uh, when you're gonna plug it in, just make sure that you don't touch the metal parts on the plug. So you get electrocuted. You pretty much just plug it into the wall and you're ready to go. Uh, to turn on the oven, you can just switch up. And it should say on right here. The system's already programmed. If you ever need to change your temperature, all you have to do is push the blue button and it's gonna give you an option of which digit you're gonna move. If you keep going, pushing the blue button, it'll skip to the next digit. And at this time, we're gonna go to uh, 400 degrees. So, using the arrows, you can move up and down each digit as you need it. I'm gonna go back to the number eight and remove it, uh, lower it to zero using the arrow going down. When you're comfortable with the temperature that you want, you can always put the yellow button and the system set up. Right now, your heater should be running. You're gonna be able to see they're already getting hot. If we close the door, we're gonna see that the temperature starts going up right away. You're gonna see the temperature going fairly quick until it reaches temperature. Once it reaches 400 degrees, it's gonna stop. In the event that you might have a malfunction, and let's say you turn on your system and for some reason the system doesn't kick on, uh, make sure you turn it off, leave it off, unplug it to make sure there's no power there. Because even with your system on the off position, you still have power inside the box. When you go to opening up your box, your control box, this breaker sometimes, if you have a power outage, this breaker might end up uh, being tripped. So what you have to do is making sure that you have it unplugged, turn the breaker back, back up, being really careful because you do have uh, 220 volts going in there at all times. You close your control box back up, uh, you plug in back to your wall, and then your system should be able to kick in. back at 400 degrees. Yeah. There's a cover right here in the middle which you gotta make sure that it never gets removed because there's a um, high voltage behind that cover. Also there's also high voltage inside your control panel. Which 